Welcome back. More than six decades after his heroic actions in the Korean War, the late Master Sergeant Woodrow Keeble finally received his just due. President Bush presented the Medal of Honor to Keeble's family, making him the first full-blooded Sioux Indian to receive the nation's highest military award. What also makes this honor so special is the long, hard-fought battle Keeble's family and fellow tribesmen waged to get him the medal. The nomination paperwork was lost twice, and the family was told the deadline had passed. The Sioux have a saying, the life of a man is a circle. Well, today we complete Woody Keeble's circle, from an example to his men, to an example for the ages. And if we honor his life and take lessons from his good and noble service, then Master Sergeant Woody Keeble will serve his country once again. Russell Hawkins, Keeble's stepson, accepted the award on his behalf 26 years after his death. And I asked him, how long did it take you to eliminate those two trenches full of enemy soldiers and those three bunkers? And in my mind, I thought he was going to say seconds. He just ran here and ran there and ran over here. But it didn't. It took him between two and three hours. 